I count a lot of stuff, and I really want this to go smoothly. Otherwise, we're probably going to be steering a little bit. Welcome to the main stage. Suck Noodle, Racer, Coffee, Picky Eater, and Cannibal. None of those are concerning at all. I just think of them as, um, like, how they would probably behave at the dinner table. So I'm thinking Ampharos would probably just ask for coffee. There we go. We broke through and discharge kills. Hello, this is my ASMR intro on you subscribing to the channel. Thank you. We got a scary fight here. All right, this is probably one of the harder fights in the game. Perfect. Alright. Unless I checked, there you go. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna start with Ancient Power on Sigilif. Aqua Tail on Krokorok. And flame charge on a Selgor. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I expected. I forgot about my own storm drain. I forgot that's how that worked. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Now people can just say, hey, this is what I did for, uh, how do I say, high level play. This is what I did. Bufalant. Okay. I'm gonna Mega Drain Krokorok. I'm going to swap out uh, Quillfish or, or for Quillfish on this slot, and then we're gonna Flame Char. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, never mind. We're gonna swap to Swampert on for Alligator slot. I think I think Buffalant wants to go for Wild Charge on for alligator and then we'll just kill sigilif it's gonna be a nothing factor so if things go correctly should be high horsepower from croc rock onto credilly sigilif is dead and wild charge on swampert slot which means no damage assuming everything goes to plan this could also be high horsepower onto Embor, which is not what I want to see. Foul play. That is a very foul play from you. Okay, that's scary. That is not what I expected. Wow, I'm just dead. Well, that's fun. <laughs> that was very foul. <laughs> you hate to see it. This fight is one of the hardest fights in the game. No. Yeah, you hate to see it. You notice how I'm super, like, indifferent about it, though? Honestly, should have gone to Crestle. Uh, that's... We'll go to, to, to this here. Crestle on the middle. And Dredagon on the left. So we lower these things attack uh and then what i'm gonna ancient power and we'll aqua nope we can't aqua tail that's right 
He was only just born. So true. We'll do that. And... How about we heat crash on Buffalant? Wow, that did nothing. Oh my god. So we lower this thing's uh, special defense. Glare goes on to who? Oh, that's... Mm, that's annoying. Okay, this shouldn't do as much damage. Only crit is what screws us. And I do have to swap, by the way. Okay. This should die. Nice. Uh, now what we can do is Ancient Power and Acid Spray on Dredigan, and then we swap to Crustle on the Umbor slot. Ding. You land Dragon Rush? Crazy. Okay. Yep. Because you saw a kill. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. And by that, I mean that is completely the opposite of what I wanted. Um, okay. I, I can't swap into anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swap to Feraligator. I'm gonna Acid Spray again. Or at least try to Acid Spray. And then we're gonna Rock Tomb on Buffalant. I didn't have the best line for this, I gotta say. Nice. Oh my god. That's a really strong Dragon Rush, by the way. We Night Slash, Acid Spray, actually, no, yeah, we'll Acid Spray. I have to risk crit here, I will say, from Buffalant. Yeah, Night Slash going on you. Glare's fine. Rock Slide. Okay. We live in! We're not out of the woods just yet! Okay, the thing is, I really do not want to lose a uh, Quillfish. But what is Crustle's speed? Why is it holding the Roap Berry? Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. This thing's 41 speed. Dredigan's bound to be faster, right? Wow, this would have speed tied. That's so funny. Oh my god, my speed stack goes to 20. Dude, Para is so harsh. Okay, so they see a kill on, um, Quillfish. Embor's not taking that. I think I need to sack him on. And it's honestly looking like it's gonna have to be, uh, Cradilly or Suck Noodle. Either or. So let's see. I Night Slash here. I go to Cradilly, see if this gets sacked. And then we Bug Bite for 100% accuracy. Alright. Good luck! Thunder Punch? Okay!
Okay! One Death Charles seems really good, by the way. He picked the incorrect move! It was random move, by the way. <laughs> it was actually random move. That's so funny. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Alright, unfortunately, Swampert is dead. Which sucks, because I wanted to use that for the fight coming up. Muscle Wing... Okay. Ducklet, that's kind of what I expected. And in this uh, hidden grotto, what is there? Ah, Snover! Wait, I actually might need that. I'll take it. Of all Mons though? Really? What a guy, by the way. I came across a Corsola. It's a very special Corsola. Thank you. Give it to me. Any more gift Pokemon, by the way? <sighs> Ooh, wait! Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup. Which ones do I want? Also, what is Corsola's behavior at the dinner table? It's also a shiny Pokemon. It also comes from the Gala region, but is still in the form we see here. Most Corsola and Galar have taken on a ghost typing and inflict curses upon anything unlucky enough to touch them. Yeah, unlucky. Okay! Alright, I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. Turtwig. Getting a Turtwig. Easy! This thing is definitely a chomper. Really? metal coat then oh wait does it even evolve by that anymore shadow force what is this thing excuse me what is this thing doing Start with Rock Slide. Slightly high. Please don't miss. Nice. Okay, now how much is that? So, this looks very high. This looks like a high roll. But now that my rock gem is off, I should go for rock tomb here. So this is rock tomb. Oh, please do not flinch. Nice. Bug bite. Nice. Okay. Who is this into now? This is very likely Chandelure. Yep. 
And this is probably... Yeah, that's what I expected. Okay, we're gonna go into Umbreon here. <laughs> he read my switch. God damn it, man. Alright. I am going to Moonlight. Hmm. That's nice. That's very nice of you. That's very nice of you. Don't crit again. Nice. Crit will do 93, so I'm not dead to crit now. I'm gonna Moonlight one more time. We're gonna go for assurance. Wow, really? Let's attack. And then we're gonna moonlight. Keeps going for mystical fire, which is annoying. Uh, this thing's 83 speed. Quillfish is 85. I am just barely faster than it, apparently. Crit, but I have to risk it, I think. Oh well, good luck. Nice. Alright, who's this gonna be now? I don't see it being Swoobat. Oh, just. Why'd you just come out of Zorwark? <laughs> Wait, so what does this thing want to do? I'm gonna detect real quick? Wants a U-turn, I assume. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh... This is the hard part, right? Okay. This is the very, very hard part. All depends on... Um... Who they want to go into. If they U-turn and go to Stoutland, it's not completely over. Whereas if they go into Swoobat, it's actually desirable. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, swap into Zeb. It's probably uh, Stoutland, I'm not gonna lie. Why would it be Swoobat? Yeah. 
Okay. Zeb Striker's speed is 112. Compare it to Stoutland, and it's 83. This thing should not be faster than me. I can go and click Volt Switch. That definitely helps. That's a nice crit, actually. Now we're gonna go into this. Strength, that's fine. Uh, 114 to 79. Uh, this thing can very easily kill me right now. Uh, I'm gonna actually swap. Let's go to this. Yep, that's what I thought. Now we're going to Volt Switch again. I'm gonna go from... Oh, well, actually, it might not matter. Oh, no, it actually does. Okay. So we're gonna... Uh, do Slow Volt Switch into a Fast Volt Switch. And now... This thing... Should be dead. Now... Here's another really scary part coming in. If this isn't Swoobat, then... Oh god. Okay! So I am slower right now. I'm gonna use Flame Charge first. Oh my god. He didn't set up. No, dude. Please, for the love of god. Please, dude. Do not flinch. Oh my god! Oh, I'm dead to crit now. That's insane. He got double air flinch. Air slash flinch. I'm dead to crit. I'm dead to crit now. I swear to god, Embor, if you get crit here, you're gonna be the worst Pokemon of all time. Oh my god! We go for Heat Crash here 100%. Please kill! Please tell me the calc is correct. Yes! Sucker Punch can kill me. I have to swap. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna T-wave it. Yup, that's one. I'm gonna play around Sucker Punch just for a little bit. This should be two Sucker Punches. Oh my god, he read it. Jesus Christ, man. He actually just read it. How did you know I would swap? Why would you go for that? Hello? How did you know I would go for that? Okay. Alright, well, he's minus one now. How much does Sucker Punch do? 27. 
He is parried. So, Crestle outspeeds. Wow, that just didn't kill. Alright, well, that's fun. Oh my god, okay, alright. Dude, this is too much for me. <laughs> oh my god. Play around the sucker punch that he so badly wants to go for. Why? No shot you go for sucker punch now, right? No shot that you go for Sucker Punch now. If you do, this is the weirdest AI of all time. Oh, thank god, dude. Ugh. It picked at random for some reason. Damn it, that's my Quillfish! God damn it, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can we seriously not? Oh my god, we actually cannot. That's crazy. That is a crazy thing. Yeah, fuck going for the choice specs right now. You know what? I'll come up with something later. I'll, I'm, I'm ending stream right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Any other sane Pokemon trainer would have swapped because what I did was 100% a misplay. This is the stupidest interaction ever. I, not, I grabbed not only once, but twice, but also three times, four times, <laughs> and <laughs> I fucking essentially just die for it. <laughs>